Hi and welcome to Solex. Today we're going to cut some 50 millimeters Tectis Sitco Flex tape. It is a reinforced tape in its length and in its width. This tape is really, really sticky. It's so sticky that our customer has complained that it generates too much glue on their blades when they're cutting the tape. They're using a handheld knife to cut this tape. And if you see, it's pretty hard to cut it. And the bigger problem is that it generates glue on the blade. The tape is for industrial use in construction materials. It's a sealing duct tape. And we're gonna show a more industrial way to cut this really sticky tape. We're gonna use blades with a teeth grinding on the blades. First of all, we're gonna start with this 1.5 millimeter thick blade that generates a pretty wavy cut on the tape. It enters into the tape with a lot of entry points and hence you don't need that much force as you're cutting with a blunt blade. We also have a thinner blade type that is 0.5 millimeters thick and a much finer teeth design. This blade cuts the tape with a finer wave structure than the previous blade. And finally, we're going to use a one millimeter thick blade that has a more wavy teeth design and a deeper grinding. So it's thinner with the teeth compared to the rest of the blade. With this blade, you get almost a straight cut and the most highest benefit is that you avoid having glue on the blade. We find that the snap of blade generates a non-straight line due to that you need to saw through the tape. In addition, you get a lot of glue on the snap of blade. This glue needs to be wiped off and clean on a regular basis. A toothed blade generates more entry points into the tape and does not get so much glue on the blade side. The one and a half millimeter thick blade generates a wavy blade cut due to multiple entry points. The 0.5 millimeter thick blade generates a much finer wavy cut but you need a lot of force to generate the duct tape and that makes the thinner blade not optimal. The blade with a wavy teeth design generates almost a straight cut with an optimal uh, entry point level. Finally, as a conclusion, we, gener we recommend a blade with a wide tooth design, which is longer grind. So you have a sharper blade entering into the sealing tape and as not the thickest blade possible, but a one millimeter type works the best in this test. Thank you for listening.